Are you tired of using the same email phrases over and over? As you try to learn English, do you struggle to find the right words to start or end your emails? In this video, I'm going to share 20 simple and effective email formats that will increase your business English communication skills and impress your colleagues. Stay tuned. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. If you don't know me, I'm Grant, your friendly business English confidence coach, dedicated to helping business professionals like you become confident using English. Today, I have something very special for you. This video is going to be long because I'm trying to give you a really complete look at different emails that you can send, different reasons for sending those emails, and try to give you a lot of different uh, beginnings and ends to these emails. So it's going to be a long video, and you can use this as a reference. Keep coming back to it, finding email formats that you really like, and that's a great way to use this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a format that looks like this. First, I'm going to give you the reason for sending the email. And there'll be 20 different reasons. And then I'm going to break the email down into three parts. The first part is going to be the greeting. Hi, how are you? Type of thing. The second part will be the content, which is really your message, your purpose for sending this email. And the third part will be the finish. How do you end emails? It's always confusing for people. So that's the way this is going to work. And remember, when sending emails as a business professional, it's very important to understand that you want to use your communication skills to build trust and relationships. And in this video, you'll see many different ways to begin an email, many ways to introduce the main message of your email, and also many ways to finish your email. One thing you'll not see in this video is the use of the word sir or madame, as it's not common to be so formal in an email in the US. And I realize this is very common in many countries all over the world. But in this channel, I'm trying to give you US business English and US business culture, and so all of these would be very normal emails that would be sent in the U.S., regardless of who you're sending this email to. Let's jump right in with our first reason for sending an email, scheduling a meeting. Number one, you can use this email format when you're requesting a meeting. The greeting will be, hi, John, I hope this email finds you well. Content can be, I'm reaching out to schedule a meeting to discuss whatever your topic is. And then you can go on to say, blah, 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 and give your message. You can finish it this way. Looking forward to scheduling a time that works for you. Best regards, Grant. This format helps you be clear and professional while setting up a meeting. Also. I will say blah, blah, blah all the time. And you'll see it a lot in my videos. If I say blah, 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 it just means you're going to put in whatever you need to put in. In this case, in these emails, it's going to be the purpose of your email and the content that you're putting in. So all of these, I'm going to include a blah, blah, blah for you. Requesting a meeting is straightforward with this format. Next, let's see how you can effectively follow up on a conversation. Number two, here's an email to use when you're following up with someone. The email beginning is, hello, Susan, I trust you're having a great day. The content can be, I wanted to follow up on our previous conversation about whatever your topic is. And to finish, you can use this. Thank you for your attention to this follow-up. Sincerely, Grant. Following up doesn't have to be complicated. 
Now let's move on to requesting specific information. Number three, you can use this email when you want to request information from someone. The email beginning can be, Dear John, I hope you had a nice weekend. In the content section, I am writing to request information regarding whatever your topic is, and then go on to talk about your message and topic. You can finish it like this. I appreciate your help with this information. Kind regards, Grant. Asking for information clearly and politely is key. Now let's look at how to provide a project update. Number four. Here's an email format you can use when you're giving an update on a project. The email beginning can be, Hi, Susan. I hope everything is going well on your end. Your content section can be, I want to provide you with an update on the, whatever the name of your project is, and then go on to talk about your project and your update. To finish it, you could use this phrase. I trust this update provides you with the information you need. Best grant. Keeping stakeholders informed about project progress is crucial. Next, let's explore how to ask for feedback. Number five, you can use this email format when you're requesting feedback. The email beginning can be, good morning, John, I hope you're doing well. The content section can be, I would appreciate your feedback on whatever your specific topic or document or issue is, and then you can go on to talk about that in more detail with your blah, blah, blah. You can finish this email with, thank you for your valuable feedback. Warm regards, Grant. Receiving feedback is so valuable for improvement. Now let's see how to introduce yourself or a colleague. Number six, here is an email format when you want to introduce yourself or someone else. The email beginning can be, hello, John, I trust this message finds you well. And in your content section, you could write, I wanted to introduce myself or my colleague who will be working on, and then you can include whatever the project or role or title is. And so it could also be said as, I want to introduce my colleague who will be working on this special project. And then the blah, blah, blah is to go into more detail about this project and this person. To finish this email, you could say, I look forward to connecting further. Sincerely, Grant. Making a good first impression is important in an introduction. Now, let's go over how to submit a proposal. Number seven, you can use this email format when you're submitting a proposal. The email beginning could be, hi there, Susan. I hope you're having a productive day. Your content section can be, please find the attached proposal for, and then put in whatever your specific project or service is, and then go into more detail about what it is and give your blah, blah, blah. You could finish it this way. Thank you for considering our proposal. Best regards, Grant. Submitting a well-written proposal can open many doors. Now let's look at how to confirm important details. Number eight, here's an email format when you're confirming a meeting or an event. The email beginning could be, Dear John, I hope you're doing great. In your content section, you could write, I'm writing to confirm the details of whatever the specific arrangement or meeting is that you're trying to confirm. And then in your blah, 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 go into another sentence or two about it. You could finish it this way. Thanks for confirming the details. Yours truly, Grant. Confirming details makes sure everyone's on the same page. Next, let's cover expressing gratitude with a thank you email. Number nine, you can use this email when you want to thank someone for something. 
The email beginning could be, good afternoon, Susan. I trust you're doing well. In your content section, you could write, I wanted to express my gratitude for whatever Susan did, whatever specific assistance or advice or maybe something that she did and go into a little bit more detail with another sentence or two in your blah, blah, blah. You could finish this email with, thank you once again for your help. Kind regards, Grant. Showing appreciation can strengthen professional relationships. Now let's address how to properly apologize. Number 10, here is an email format when you need to apologize for something. The email could begin, greetings, John. I hope this email reaches you in good spirits. In your content section, you could write, I would like to apologize for whatever the specific mistake or issue that maybe you did or somebody at your company did. In, in the blah, blah, blah part of your content, you can go on and give just a little bit more detail about that, but Typically, be, be very brief about your apology. Be direct, be sincere, and be very brief. You could finish this email with, I appreciate your understanding. Take care, Grant. Apologizing sincerely can resolve many issues. Okay, moving on. Let's see how to invite someone to an event. Number 11. You can use this email format when you want to invite someone to an event or a meeting. The email beginning could be, Hi, Susan. I hope you're having a wonderful day. In the content section, you could write, You're cordially invited to a specific event or a meeting, whatever you're inviting Susan to. Cordially is a very, very polite way of inviting somebody. It just means I'm making a special invitation to you, and I hope that you will come to be cordially invited. It's a beautiful way of doing this. In the rest of your content section and your blah, 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 you could go on to talk about whatever this specific event or meeting is. And you could finish your email with, looking forward to seeing you at the event. Warm regards, Grant. Invitations create really valuable connections. Now let's discuss how to handle contract discussions. Number 12, here is an email format you can use for a discussion about a contract. The email could begin with, hello, John, I trust this email finds you well. In your content section, you could write, I would like to discuss the terms of our contract regarding and then whatever your specific project or service or whatever it is that you're discussing here with your contract and your blah, 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 you could go on and give a little bit more detail about your message. To finish, you could say, thank you for discussing the contract details with me. Best, Grant. Discussing contract terms clearly can prevent misunderstandings. Next, let's see how to reconnect for networking purposes. Number 13, you can use this email format when you contact someone you met before and you wanna network with them. The email could begin as, Dear Susan, I hope all is well with you. In your content section, you could say, I am reaching out to reconnect and explore potential opportunities for collaboration. You could use the blah, blah, blah and discuss in some more detail about what you want to collaborate with Susan about. And to finish this email, you could write, looking forward to reconnecting. Sincerely, Grant. Networking can open up new opportunities. Now let's talk about making announcements. Number 14, here's an email format to use when you're announcing something new like a product or service. The beginning of the email could be, good morning, Susan. I hope you're having a good week. In your content section, you could write, I'm excited to announce some specific update or 
a new product or a new service that you want to announce in your blah, blah, blah part of your message. Go on and give a little bit more detail about this. And you could finish your email with, thank you for your continued support. Kind regards, Grant. Announcing updates keeps everyone informed. Next, let's look at sending reminders. <laughs> Something we need to do often. Number 15, you can use this email format when you need to remind someone about something. The email could begin with, Hi, John. I trust you're doing well today. In your content section, you could write, This is a friendly reminder about maybe a specific deadline or a meeting or whatever you're reminding John about. When you're blah, 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 you might give another sentence or two, but probably don't need to give very much information here. You could finish this email with, thank you for keeping this deadline in mind or whatever might be appropriate. Thank you for remembering that we're meeting on Tuesday. Best regards, Grant. Reminders help make sure nothing is overlooked. <laughs> now let's address how to bring up a formal complaint. Number 16. Sometimes we need to complain about something, and here's an email format to use. You could begin the email with, Hello, Susan. I hope this message finds you in good health. In your content section, you could write, I'm writing to express my concern regarding. And as you go into your blah, 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 discuss whatever the specific issue is and be clear and be specific about it. And as you finish your email, you might write, I appreciate your prompt attention to this issue. Thank you, Grant. You know, addressing complaints professionally can lead to quick resolutions. So let's now see how you can extend a job offer. Number 17, you can use this email format when you're making an offer to someone. The email could begin, Dear John, I hope you are well. And in your content where you write your message, you could write, I am pleased to extend an offer for whatever the specific position you're offering or the opportunity. And you can go into some detail about that in your blah, blah, blah part of your message. You could finish this email by writing, thank you for considering this opportunity. Best, Grant. Offering opportunities can be really rewarding. Next, let's go over how to seek clarification. Number 18. Sometimes you need to request clarification about something, and here's an email format you can use. You could begin your email with, Hi, Susan. I hope your week is going well. And in your content and message part, you could write, I would like to seek clarification on and include whatever that you need to clarify, what the specific issue is or the instruction. So in your blah, 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 go into some detail about what you're looking for clarification on, exactly what you're looking on, and be clear about it. And to finish your email, you could write, thank you for clarifying this matter. Warm regards, Grant. Clarifying details helps avoid confusion. Now let's discuss how to introduce your services. Number 19. Here's an email format you can use when you want to introduce someone to a service that you offer. The email could begin with, good afternoon, John. I trust you're having a productive day. And in your content or your message section, you could write, I wanted to introduce you to the services we offer at Business English with Grant. And in my blah, 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 I could add some of those services and be specific what John might be interested in. I could finish this email by typing, thank you for your time and consideration. Sincerely, Grant. A really nice way to end an email. Introducing your services effectively can attract new clients. Finally, let's look at proposing a collaboration. Number 20, 
when you want to invite someone to collaborate on a project, you can use this email format. You could begin your email with, Greetings, Susan. I hope you're doing well. In your content section or your message, you could type, I'm writing to propose a collaboration between our companies on, and then in your blah, 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 go into the specific project, the initiative, whatever it is that you want to collaborate with, with Susan. You could finish this email by typing, looking forward to discussing this collaboration further. Best regards, Grant. Proposing collaborations can lead to really great partnerships. So all of these scripts should help you find your way through various business email scenarios with confidence and professionalism. I hope you found these email formats really useful. Remember, the key to effective email communication is to be clear and then polite. And these email formats are designed to help you achieve that effortlessly. Please leave a comment below if you have any questions or if there are any other business communication topics you'd like to cover. This video came from a comment that one of my subscribers wrote, so thank you for that. Your feedback is very valuable and helps me create content that serves you better. So I'm always willing to make videos that you think are going to help. Thanks for watching. And I would also love to hear your comments about trying to use some of these formats. Tell me what your favorite email format might be, what you're going to start using instead of doing the same thing over and over again. Enjoy these. Try them. They work really well. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, share your comments, and I also invite you to learn your Business English Confidence Score. You'll find the link in the description below this video.